It is time to go on to game number four between Liquid Hero and Marine King Prime, where right now, amazingly, Marine King Prime is up two to one versus Liquid Hero. Uh, really, really slick games from MKP. Like the fact that he started off the series standard, and he's a little more comfortable doing this sort of craziness. Uh, only when he's in a comfortable spot series-wise. <clears throat> yeah, doing very, very well for himself. And Antigua Shipyard is our map number four, where, well, I mean, it can go either way in PVT here, really. We've seen Hero power out a lot of good games on it, as well as MKP also exploiting a lot of holes that can occur in people's games. But, you know, there's always the extremities of your... Uh, but MKP just seems to like shoving straight down the middle on this map. He he knows exactly yeah. what he can get away with on this. This is a map, though, notorious for the neck. The mm -hmm. neck between the natural and the main. Very easy for a Terran player to attack the front and then instantly lift up and drop into the main base. I'm sure all of the Terran players are going to be thrilled about that Ignite Afterburners medevac upgrade to do all the harassing. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. But then again, every other race seems to get some kind of brutal situations uh, in Heart of the Swamp. But anyway, guys, let's get those intros done and dusted as we do have spawning up to our northern position as our blue Protoss. He goes by the name of Liquid Hero. And down in the bottom right, the man who is Marine King defying all expectations. It is Marine King Prime. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, his fans are saying it's about Marine King time been cheering this guy on for years only to have him get silver after silver after silver yeah but then he, uh, i'd be marine king lying if i told you i didn't want him to get a gold in oh. this tournament i mean <laughs> it's never... your turn it's your turn to talk Kalaris. hi how you doing no <laughs> i can't do it i cannot bring myself to doing it maybe because i'm not as quick-witted as you but anyway we'll i'll stick to Thank my you. normal rhetoric of uh, what? Marine King Prime looked as if he wanted to go for a gas then with an SCV, but then pulled it away. Did he want to make one and then didn't? That was... That was you know, Marine King Prime is a player who I've heard say before that in a lot of circumstances, he goes into the game and just sort of feels like, what build should I be doing here? <laughs> Which is something that really you should not do on the ladder, but is great to do in a best of five or a best of X, only if you're really, really, really good at that big variety of builds. It looks like Marine King Prime, though, is doing a flash style of early expanding. This is a real interesting move. This is one of these great deception moves that we're seeing players do time and time uh, again in the last few months since Flash did it. I love you the just yeah, you just hide the command center, and then your opponent doesn't know if you're going fast gas, two racks, has no idea, he knows nothing. Yeah, anything you can do to mess with your opponent's head, and it's like, well, you know, what is going on in that base? I need to know. I, I can't play consciously, I can't play properly without actually knowing, and this might force a little bit of an extra reaction out of Hero. He might decide to, you know, forego a little bit of an earlier expansion. It's not as common. He... He, you know, we do see a lot of Protosses just going for the Nexus straight away anyway, but, you know, he's going for that Stalker, and uh, from that point on, we'll have to see what he wants to do from then. Yeah, first Zealot being produced, that's just the standard, I don't know what you're up to, you could be attacking, I have to do the defense. There's MKP throwing down his command center, uh, rallying his Marines to the front, as he should, great way to hold off Stalkers. Now, in the main base, MKP uh, is generally... Ooh, why is he saving up that much money? Oh, what the MKP? <laughs> that is I am, I am not as big a fan uh, of this play. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're going to go for the big mass economy, I prefer a little bit to build it down on yonder low ground. Um, but, I mean, that's not even as significant as that going for an early expand into medevac pressure is just so strong on this map. Mm -hmm. I don't quite like the big mass macro play. I'm curious as to how Hero is going to react once he sees this many Marines at the top of the ramp, because when you, well, normally if I poke up as a Protoss and I see that many Marines at the top of a ramp, I'm thinking, well, you know, maybe, you know, where is he... What, is, what else is he doing? What, what else is actually going on back there? And most of the time it can be something like, you know, factories and starports and 
just to, because of how many Marines you actually have. And right now, you know, Hero he hasn't really seen anything. He has not had an opportunity to see anything. He's going to be pushed away for now. So he's still playing very much in the dark, and that is why the Robo is going down. He needs to know exactly what is actually occurring in there. Yeah, I do think that Hero's sort of saying to himself, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> My opponent is probably early expanding. Uh, getting this Robo up does cause you to lose to a lot of early pressures. Um, so this is kind of a, a comfortable position that Hero is in, but like you said, he really does need to know what is going on in that main base. So I think that the logic that Hero is going for is, excuse me, the logic that NKP is going for is, all right, I've presented to you all the evidence that I'm doing a sort of hidden early expand. And behind that, though, I'm also going for the third command center. So most of what Liquid Hero would generally want to do is be preparing himself in some way for the two-base push, when in fact there's no two-base push coming. Yeah, actually, that's a really, really interesting point that you bring up there, because, you know, with that preparation for some kind of two-base play, he then says, ah, oh, God, I've got to make, you know, more units. I can't really power as effectively, but all the while his opponent is powering behind it, which, you know, won't be revealed until this observer actually gets over there, has a little bit of a look around, and sees the second command center, and then he's like, oh, well, you know, you have a second command center in your base, that's great, but then it's like, oh, well, you have a third command center as well. Very, very dicey situation to be in. And, you know, behind this, he's going for the Robo Bay as well as the Forge. Just playing pretty standard. Ow. But a few gateways. Now, MKP is doing something that I don't like, building this factory right there on the high ground. That's basically begging your opponent to kill it. Uh, here it comes. There's the spotting. I mean, I understand the uh, notion in terms of aggression, but, I mean, these stalkers from here, should... yeah, there they go. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is why this is an ill-advised technique. However, I will note that there are two tech labs and a reactor going down before the factory. This means that MKP is really going for the big macro play. He's actually doing so much damage here with just these two stalkers poking away. He, he kills off two SCVs with that. And this this gives, you know, <laughs> even more validity what, to what you say about not positioning the building there. But you should never really be positioning any build that close to the edge unless doing something really, really strange. And there he is, stepping right up again. It looks like this factory is definitely going to have to move, getting free units left and right. I mean, it's just like these little edges that make Hero so good. Already Hero in a nice spot, using force fields to pick off a couple units on the low ground as he's already going for Colossus, already getting that plus one armor upgrade. Looking very, very nice for Hero. It's all going to come down to how MKP transitions from this point. We see two barracks over at the natural. That is a very, very good sign that MKP wants to actually add on three more barracks and just do big, mass marine marauder aggression. Yeah, that can be very, very scary. And here are shoes here. He's adding on a few more gateways, of course, as well as those Colossus on the way. But when your Colossus are in short numbers and you don't actually even have thermal lance on the way just yet, they can be exploited by Bio quite easily, actually. So, for now, we do have Hero still throwing down pylons, looking to go for some aggression as well. And, I mean, you know, MKP, he's expanding, and he's just going for that big, big power macro. It's, it's kind of scary, actually. Yeah, this is a point in time where, again, you can go for uh, Armory and then second eBay, but given what we've been seeing from MKP, it's still looking a lot more like he wants to just slam out a bunch of barracks. Hero is in that uncomfortable defensive mode where you, you want to have expanded earlier, but you were in the dark a little bit, and now the Colossus is out. Hero, look at this, timing this attack right at the moment where MKP will normally have his medevac up. This, oh my god, is going so great for Hero! Oh my gosh, decimating that front line. Those Colossi just did so much damage. Even without Thermal Lance, the force fields were pristine. He might even get another medevac here, actually, and that has a few units in. Not the second medevac, though. Retreats to a position of safety. And just a berating and assaulting this bunker and front line is terrifying here for Marinki. He's losing a lot of work as well, but at the same time, nice stim up, takes out one of the Colossi. The other one falls to retreat. There's still a lot of bio doing some damage, but the Zealots chewing away at it as well. Weirdly, Marine King Prime not getting any Vikings, just getting more and more Medivacs and more Marine Marauder. Uh, Continuing to kite, mainly Marauder production, picking off one of the Stalkers. It looks like MKP is not losing these attacks quite as badly as he should. Yeah, it looks like taking 
Very, very interesting fight there. As for now, he's got plus one weapons on the way, just warping in right in his opponent's third base. How annoying is that? And <laughs> for Marine King Prime, but he's still fighting back. He's pulling off an S few SCVs as well, trying to close the gap. There's not that many gateway units left here, but that one Colossus, 14 kills, 15 kills, so much damage. Now look at this micro by MKP. He has like four Marauders and he's kiting them, darting them around perfectly. By some miracle, Marine King Prime has managed to micro his way into saving this base. What? That's pretty terrifying. Pretty scary. The what? I don't know how he even managed to hold on there. The Colossi were just so, so strong early on, but they haven't been able to do much of anything else anymore. And Marine King Prime, with this many medivacs, adds so much longevity to this force that, you know, if Hero doesn't do something very soon, then this this army is going to be extremely mobile and in Hero's face very quickly. Oh my god, and look at the expansion has only just now started, Killaris. I mean, even if Hero defends this attack, he doesn't have any sort of big economy burgeoning up behind it. The worker count is still reasonable. It's at 52 for uh, MKP, and with those three command centers, he's in, in fine shape. 2-2 two, two now en route. Wow. That 2-2 is actually a big deal, considering that Hero doesn't really... He's got 1-1, one, one, sure, but his 2-2 two, two is nowhere near even beginning, never mind anything else. And MKP putting on the pressure, he's going to break down the rocks, push this third base, and if he can kill this off, uh, I mean, it's 57 workers to 62. Hero's in the slight advantage, but it doesn't matter if he doesn't have the third base to be able to populate. Gosh, that's so crazy. Favoring medevacs over Vikings with tons of Colossus barreling down his front door, MKP really showing that there's techniques that most people are not doing to be able to thwart these Colossus forces. Uh-oh, he's just darting right on up, and then he snipes one immediately. The Marauder's doing huge damage, but that front line of Zealots tears it down quite quickly. But with that many medevacs, I mean, the remaining eight Marauders actually are not going to die. Nope, not at all. They're going to be healed up instantaneously. A few more units being rallied over straight away to this force. And, you know, during all of that engagement, it was the Zealots doing the damage. The Colossi had to run away. Otherwise, they would have been completely obliterated by those Marauders very quickly. And, you know, with the Viking production beginning, after having so many medevacs now, he's in a great spot to just continue producing Vikings and really, really laying waste to any kind of force Hero would want to move out with. Second star port, 2-2 two, two finishing up. Hero, back home can only really build Colossus. What are his upgrades doing? He's now getting plus two armor. He has plus two attack. He has blink. You almost need to get blink before you get charge on this map, just due to that uh, number of medevacs NKP has, and even a few medevacs can deal huge damage. Yeah, they really can, especially when you have to spread yourself out across three bases on this map. It, it's so hard to traverse back and forth between those three bases if you don't have something like a medevac actually help out with that procedure and hero he knows where his opponent's army is he has to somehow defend this uh third base otherwise he's going to be so ridiculously far behind yeah stalker's positioned up on the high ground to deal with the drop hero's going to have to come at a really nice angle <coughs> excuse me the blink will help him get to the low ground quickly he picks off one medevac but oh the stalkers are in the front the marauders eat him up in seconds and then immediately dart to the top half one Colossus down, two Colossus, three, all evaporate instantly. Oh my god, Marine King Prime has just done this incredible defense, continues to blast down the front, and it looks like he is going to take out Hero in game four. Wow, Marine King Ooh. Prime advances on against a liquid hero of all people, a player that has wow. had absolute domination in this map matchup for so long what <laughs> that's that's impressive